Alright, so let's do what is, I do believe, the last, at least the main game, the last side quest. So, in Hampshire. What happened here? And what befell the driver? Tour tournament invitation. You're hereby invited to the annual bear fighting tournament. Bring your finest bears to compete for the title of bear master. Well, that certainly did not go down well, did it? I mean, the boys. The hell is this guy? Oh, there you are. Hey, it was attacking us, you blithering idiot! What? What? Sorry, what would you expect me to use? Foul, la bad language, or the language of flowers? I mean, you know, you're you're a bit of a halfwit if you actually thought the bear was going to live. Like it was bloody attacking me. You're snarly like you are an idiot. You should have had them restrained better anyway. You're a bloody fool. Yeah, try and tame a bear, yeah. That's a skill, that is. Well, yet you are sadly lacking. At least it would seem, anyway. Your gratitude is touching. <laughs> gratitude? That was my prize fighting bear you killed. How am I supposed to make my living now? It is thanks to me that you're living at all. <laughs> exactly. Oh, thank you, your majesty. Please accept my eternal loyalty for condemning me to abject poverty. Ah, oh, fine. Well, apologize. I'm sorry. You seemed like you were in danger. Sorry? Sorry won't feed my seven children. What am I to do now? Maybe pick a small animal to abuse next time. Yeah. Farewell. How am I going to feed the children now that my bear is dead? God, that gratitude was sale <laughs> silly. Was sorely lucky, silly. What is? Yeah, I know. I totally forgot to assign the um, the mastery points. To be honest, it's not the most immediate thing on my thoughts. So yeah, right. Let's go to Winchester at long last. <laughs> so glad to get these all of the ancients dealt with. To be honest, so. Last three can take care of that, uh, well, excuse me, that Master Templar, who is the Warden of Faith, I do believe. Level six settlement. And you can get her uh, knowledge points. I've already bought knowledge point, but it just give you mastery points. So I think, um, I, because th there are untrapped, there are points we, there are locked, which I believe is for either an upcoming update this month or next month, or it's for the uh, DLC. Hey, 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 kids! But yeah, so apparently I'll buy points when, because I'm not going to be able to earn anymore. I, I, I'm assuming that by the time I will have finished this game, by the time I actually the update, any new points come around, so it means I'll have to purchase them, because you only get them when you're level 6 anyway, so... I mean, I had the thing at level 5 and they've never become available, so, yeah. Hey, Ranvi! Good day, my love. You did? Never mind. I want to see the Alliance map. Right, let's go to Winchester. Python received a message from Winchester, from someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hidden ally. Very interesting. More targets, I assume. Yes. So what do you think? Could it be a trap? As a West Saxon stronghold, Winchester will be a rather unwelcome place for you. No kidding. But that is nothing you cannot handle. Yeah. If you go, do not go boldly. Let's do this.
I'll make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God, and then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Okay. Interesting. Go with care. Okay. So I really hope there's a bunch of there's a bunch of things that um in Winchester I could not acquire. Although to be fair, one of them I believe is fully mission related here. <clears throat> there's a couple of other things here which literally are locked behind just boarded up doors, so I'll be I'm assuming that's tied to because they weren't available in side quests, so I'm assuming they're story related, so Assuming that even allows the us. The seat of anyway. King Alfred's power, where hawk shit stains my boots. <laughs> I will find the man in white in their god's house. I love the way this she must be the house that. of their timid god. They built him a rich dwelling. Oh my god. Mm. Grayish. Oh, yeah. Bishop Aylforth. He is not with God. He is locked in the flaming crypt where all heretics go. Okay. And God's servant, the Bishop Aylforth, was mighty indeed. So, let's have a look at you, shall we? Right, so what if we're actually going to meet the poor fellow soldier of Christ? And if that's so, we'll confirm a theory of mine. Of Just think, the Reaver Winchester. Well, a Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It's you I've come to see. <laughs> Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do, but I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. Are you serious? As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. Hell no! Um. <clears throat> No, I'm not learning this one. I don't want to learn about the Bible, at least not in this game, thank you. Um, we're going to take full advantage of our fighting skill. And level 4, though we're level 6, I think. That's the max, but anyway. Yeah, let's use that, uh, pr that, um, let's say prideful. No, just, uh, some good fighting skill. <laughs> Every time I say that, I always think there's a game... That uses the term built to a driven skill. <laughs> it kind of makes me use that sort of. Um, uh, it makes the, that sort of thing, that slating, that sort of style. I feel it's more appropriate to say like that. Not the same, but yeah, <laughs> you get my point. <laughs> Why deny the pleadings of an unwashed pagan who aches to know God? Take me as I am, and I will do your lord's bidding. How great is the burden of learning for one so unworthy. But I see that no amount of instruction in the lord's words will save your soul. Come. <laughs> yeah, well, we're not, we don't exactly follow those teachings, so, um... Yeah. Who am I to meet, priest? I cannot stand waiting in silence. Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent. I want to get a better view of this guy. Oh, that is a perfect view. <laughs> it just like... It really shows a guy's age. Don't, don't that make me any good. I'm just saying that funny. Like, light really sh shows off his aging. <laughs> Sorry, that's... I couldn't have picked a better spot to do that, could I? <laughs> really illuminates him. Oh God! <laughs> Sorry, I had to laugh at that. Yet men become wise by <laughs> speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. True. Hush! 
You're prattling a friend's God's ears. Oh, sorry. We're here. Oh, yeah. May Christ, whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? Is that who I think that is? Hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fine, skillful tree. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? King Alfred. Well, well, well. You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that well from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke was an enemy of Wessex. But it seems someone has already removed her threat from my lands. Hmm. If you did not hear it was me, you have now. Hmm. Impressive. Really? The Order of Ancients has surely been crippled by her loss. How much <coughs> do you know oh. of this order? Only this and little more. Well, you lead it, so you're just gonna just bastard us. I'll be here more in a second. Signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Which is you? <coughs> plot against my life. Bullshit, you lead the Templars. The gallows, the quill, the Sikhs. Free men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aelferth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your god. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. Wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, let's ask this one. Oh, by the way, you're wondering why I'm calling in the master, the, the grandmaster. Um, I'll show you when you get this screen. I'll go to the, I'll go to the order screen. I'll show you. You might have to have the illumination on your device. Um, but the whole pattern, the little uh, cross on his belt, the whole hair, the 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 um the cross the like the uh, when i say the hair like the um the fur thing the medallion it's all there it's him king alfred is the is the grandmaster full stop i shouldn't i shouldn't know this i shouldn't i shouldn't better figure this out bullshit odyssey did that much better but no you see a shadowed figure which is easily recognizable in the right light but anyway but yeah he's the grandmaster but blatantly obvious so now let's see him up close again and proper light. Yeah, easily obvious. I'll, like I said, I'll show you when I get out of this. But yeah, why are you trusting me? And why the hell is he killing off? I have a theory on that, but I'll get to that eventually. You have faced warriors like me many times before. And many times you have lost or been cheated. Why trust me now? I have men in London and Jorvik. Men who send me reports on the rise and fall of the tides of war. Not long ago, men and women of some influence were murdered in those places. In oddly specific circumstances. <laughs> when I received this letter from our poor fellow soldier, it did not take long to work out why. I don't know your motive, nor what you hope to gain. All I ask is that you finish the work you have begun. Before these fallen souls infest England further. I should let the Order kill you. It would speed our conquest of England. <laughs> you may remove the organs of state. The cancer will remain. Mm, not so sure then about that. promise me a reward I can sing about. It's a healthy the king's weight in silver. That's it? <sighs> Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust? Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, 
by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor, compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Yet? Not yet, Great King, <laughs> but the day will come. <laughs> oh dear. <coughs> Okay, now, how do I know about this? Alright, so this is the rake, which is one who's the uh, one of faith, or those. Okay, how do I know? Well, if you can get this into the right light, um, it first things first, the obviousness is the cross, the belt, the buckle there, that uh, yellow drape thing that's like a curve. It's him. King Alfred is the father. He's the he's the head of the Templars. Uh, although we're not going to find that out till the very end. Um, it, yeah, I, even I can tell just by looking at this. I mean, if you turn on the illumination, you, it, after what we've just seen that fit in that cutscene, if you match each of the uh, each of the aspects of them of this picture to him. Also, it's done. He, he's the Grandmaster. Anyone else, I'd be totally surprised. Um, <clears throat> as for why he's asking us to kill all the Order of the Ancients, I, my only thinking on this one is that the Knights, the, the Knights Templar were, or the, the Knights Templar were an incredibly powerful organization back in the time of the Crusades, even afterwards. You know, I mean, uh, well, I think they're called the Knights Hospital. Uh, no, sorry, the Knights Hospital and the Knights uh, and the the Knights Templars, um, or the Order of the Temp, or the Order of the Templars, or however you want to call it, uh, Order of the Hospitallers. I think I've said that correctly. Um, they were both really powerful organizations back then. I mean, okay, yes, they operate more in the Middle East now, with in Egypt, you know, with um, I think. Um, Knights Hospital is operating, I believe, around Antioch. At least that's what I've learned, learned through games. I'm not entirely sure accurate that is, but um, I'm pretty sure that the Knights Templars, um, Templar Knights, Templar, the Order of the Templars, or, operate either at Acre or Jerusalem. Not 100% sure on that, so don't, don't always that, not 100% sure, but um, it would make sense that if King Alfred. He's one of those people that wanted to remodel the idea of the order. Then he would ask someone to take out the members. It's it's almost like either he's gotten it. I don't, I don't know what it is, whether it's a religion or just the times itself. But it's like the order, the, the idea of the actual Templars. You know, it's like the it's like the name and the definition and what defines the order. I think may be changing with Alfred and further leaders and ongoing leaders. So, but it would seem that he's the Grand Master, but it makes no sense that he would want people to kill his own members unless he wanted. He, it's like, I can't take care of them myself because they'll know I'm being a traitor and they'll take me out and one of the Grand and one of the Masters will take my spot. Makes no there's no point but if i ask someone to do it for me so i can re so i can reorganize it rename it whatever to the temp to the to the templar order or order of the templars that would make the most sense and if based in the law of assassins that actually would hold some weight because at some point the name has to change from the order of the ancients to the or to the templar order the order of the templars Templar order, you have to. It has to change, because because in modern, the one we know from the first game has been was in the Crusades, <clears throat> I do believe, um, and that was uh, that. But yeah, it was actually I think the Crusades, or at least around that time. And this is I can't remember which. I, yeah, wait, was it? Uh, no, this was. Um, uh, wow, my brain's falling asleep on history. <laughs> That's not often that happens, but anyway, around this, well, actually, uh, hold on, if that's, no, wait, wasn't the, wait, weren't the Crusades, because that was, um, I might think of a totally different era, 
Oh no, because that would have been no, because that yeah no, hang on, because that no no that would have been no, because oh no shit yeah, because that's from the um that's from like the twelfth through thirteenth through the fifteenth if not sixteenth yeah that's from that medieval times when yeah with the 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 Pope giving the holy orders the hot the yeah 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 okay okay sorry my brain my brain fell asleep on time there it was I I had to I remind myself that those old the old Roman Empire with the the pay with the um with the other people in what we now call everything from Russia to Romania to to um former Yugoslavia to Czech Republic all that sort of stuff that that's all renamed in different uh, places I my brain had to figure that out for a second it's the it the, this for me it's a bit of a slight gray area and all this I know I know I'm going through history I mean to be fair some stuff I've learned through games but the other stuff is just there's some stuff you connect the dots there so but um but yeah so because my brain could say it. This is yeah, yeah. This is before that came about. So this is before those uh, those events took um, came around. Because this is from the Saxon time before that. Just before that came around. Yeah, because that's from that time. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that's in the yeah. So this is just before those came around, which means this is, which would make sense because that's Alfred. It comes after that part where they pull through the Crusades, which means it's then the Templars, which, in its own effect, if that's where the rebuilding. Of the Templar Order became to the Knights Templars being an extremely powerful organization, it would set a perfect basis for them to go after um, the Peace of Eden. So, if that's the case, then they became the Templars, then actually that makes sense for this whole history. I don't know. <laughs> Weird how we piece things together, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's all for me going with the Father, isn't it? Isn't that amazing? But I just thought I piece that together for myself, but yeah. My brain had to think on history there for a minute. <laughs> There's some. I need to find this reef, Goodwin. Not everything is always as automatic for me in that in that uh, regard. So my brain has to sort of stop signs, just like no, yes, which one part of that? History to some is easier, and his I used to love history. I mean, like learning about history. I still do, but not as much as beforehand, and it was. It, it's faded away, my knowledge of it. It's faded away a little bit, which is a bit of a shame, so my brain has to work a bit harder on it. Who rules in Winchester anyway? Is Alfred king or not? Well, you ain't, that's for sure. So keep your mouth shut. Good one gone, and guards sniffing around. So where would they have taken him? Papers thrown on the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks, or the guards destroying evidence. Harper Leonard, you have been a thorn in my side long enough, Goodwin. Cease your snooping, or I'll use my considerable influence to lock you in the garrison. Not even your feeble king will save you then. Wait. Hold on. Do the orderly ancients not obey Alfred anymore? Huh? Broken balls, food scattered. They took him by force. There must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison. That's weird. So... Because if it was actually the, um... Because generally the Templars operate via the hierarchy, which means everyone obeys the Grand Master. And it's passed down, so... <clears throat> it would not make any sense if they're targeting their king, because they would obviously, or at least the Master Templar, would have made th that person, that temp that made all the Templar subordinates operate under that Master Templar, aware of who the Grand Master is. And if the king is the ma the Grand Master, he would have automatically sent word out to shut the Templars up so they don't target their own Grand Master. So, either, they're com either there's a drastic miscommunication going within the own Order of the Ancients, or 
Alfred has completely separated himself. You know he's a grandmaster. He's completely separated himself completely from it. Um, and he's basically the Order of the Ancients has gone rogue and it's just doing its own thing. Everyone is in charge of their own destiny, as they want to call it. Not the other explanations I can think of to explain it. Interesting. Because if they're targeting the king, because if the because if the feeble king can't protect him, but if he's the grand master, he should easily be able to do that. The fact that he can't, the fact that he can't means that he can't actually. He's, I yeah, either. Hmm, that's interesting. Be my eyes soon. Okay, gotta go around there, do I? Here, so otherwise I'll go for it. Hmm. Cast about this land, my friend. How am I getting in here? Must be a weak point somewhere. No. I'll get in through there. Do I have to go through the front door? Usual, that's the case. Oh, whoa, hold on. Of something. Was that something I saw? No. Okay. Do I have to go through the front door, do I? Okay, that's unusual. Oh, what's this over here? No, I have to go through the front door. Okay, that's um. All right. Huh. Interesting. Oh, that's definitely not gonna work. All right. Well, front door it is then. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> they found out now, so um. Oh. Walls and thicker guards. A place to keep a valuable man. Wait, wasn't I just up there? Oh, okay. Reeve Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging. A husband and wife to be carried out soon. Okay. Oh, is he? Oh, is he in like some sort of dungeon area? That might be the case. The, are there dungeons in here? Hey, what? 
That's enough! Okay. That helps that. A Dane in Winchester. These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodwin. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I will find your research. Now go, before they find their wolf has fled his cage. <clears throat> Let's regroup beyond the walls! Okay. Yeah, good look here. Okay. He's done his time. Seems wise enough. Competent enough. Okay. Interesting. Now, there was some evidence up there which I noticed. I won't grab that. Goodwin's research against the Order of Ancients. I've arranged to meet Harold at the tavern under the cover of darkness. He was terrified when I approached him in the open, eyes darting left and right, as if he th the very thought of the very as if the, 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 the as if he thought the very walls were watching us. Harold did not come. I waited for more than an hour, and when I went to his home near the minister, the place was torn apart. His belongings gone. Four others came forward with information on the gallows and entity, and all four have met a hor horrible end. Two were hanged in the square on petty charges, one was found dead, allegedly after drunken brawl, another has fled. The two were never the, the two were hanged. The two who were hanged? The gallows must be uh, must be another reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to judge the people of Winchester. He, the gallows, is a public figure who outwardly opposes Alfred's reforms. I do not dare write my suspicions here. Okay. I, uh, yep, pass out there. Just some random stranger staying there all. Have you got some input for us? <laughs> I bet it's just some random stranger. I am grateful for your help. It's a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favored Reeve. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They're dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name doesn't rattle some recognition. <laughs> well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends.
go with this one first. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop Aelfirth was the Sikhs. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. Okay, and the quill? One calls himself the quill. Are words his weapons? There were rumors of letters nailed up around Winchester. It may be that one of these can tell us more. Okay. The gallows? What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn? Of course. That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester. Executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. The Lord works in mysterious ways, taking his servant in so terrible a fire. Bishop Aylforth was no man. Hush! Someone has hanged men for better thoughts. Okay. <laughs> Extra one, whatever reason. <clears throat> All right. Well, we'll go after Gallows next time. I will read through uh, the Gallows biography uh, bio. It's uh, the next one. I won't do it now because point with the end of this video. I'll catch you next time. I'm going to be choking the Gallows. See you then.